Hey, Cancer Shifters, let's smudge the shit out of life. <laughs> let's just smudge. I smudge the tarot. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to smudge my coffee. Smudged coffee. Seeker, seer, existential shifter. Gotta love it. Anyway, okay, you're feeling smudged enough? Are we feeling smudged enough? Boom. Okay. All right, good. June, you're subconscious. Yay. What do I mean by that? Uh, the sun and Gemini. Gemini, or those rising signs of you, is in your 12th house. That's where your deep psyche is, your subconscious, and it sheds, the sun is shedding light on it. So everything is coming out, and you think, oh, I'm possessed. No, it's just your psyche. It's okay. You can smudge your own psyche. That's all right. We, can, we should smudge our psyche. It's not to say you're not possessed. I mean, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna bum you out if you were hoping. Maybe that too, I don't know. Okay. Hello, beautiful humans. My name is Morgane. This is the existential shift. I noticed I don't introduce myself enough. Yeah, so that here. What? I, okay, I just introduced myself. Here he, here he, Morgane from the existential ship is in front of her camera. You press play. Uh, you press play. You, you press play. Smudge it. Why did I press play? Smudge it. Sage it. Sage it. Sage all of it. Sage all of them. It can all be resolved with sage. I'm not being sarcastic. I've been saging my life in the past week because I'm, I'm, I'm re-deepening my studies um, and my occult knowledge and I'm reading more books and I'm branching in and out even more. It's infinite. It's infinite. It's infinite. There's always more. Um, and I've been delving into some, some dark ass energies in search of light. Um, but you know, all of that just stirs up the demons from the past that I didn't know were demons. You know, it made me look in retrospect at so many situations, so many people, so many my own, you know, behavior patterns and where they were coming from. And I'm not one to um, take away from her, her own responsibility. If anything, I squeeze the hell out of my own responsibility and I, I can be very hard on myself. And I'm always looking to where my own psyche and my own conscientious has to do with things. So if I resort to, holy crap, I think that one was me being, you know, bothered by an entity of some sort. If I say that, trust that it's, it's yeah, that's what it was. And I've been doing some, um, you know, even more, again, soul retrieval, retrieval. That never ends. Every time there's trauma, there's fragmentation. So there's always room for more soul retrieval when you experience more stuff. You're here alive, so we're, yeah, you experience more stuff. Anyway, so yet again, I've, I've been doing soul retrieval, and, um, but it was, it was going into, like, where it wasn't necessarily fragmented by trauma as much as it was taken, and I had to go and take it back. King of Cups. This could be you. But I'm picking up that this could also be someone who wants you, okay, so wants you, wants something from you. Now, whenever I mention something in a reading, it's never, it, it often looks random, it never is random. So if, if I tell you a story about myself, see how it might, you know, relate to you. So there's a wanting energy. And the reason why it's able to attach itself to you, Cancer, is because you carry a wanting energy 
don't get me started, you know what I'm talking about. And when you want and you can't get what you want for whatever reason, right, life, you close up in your shell as if whoever didn't give you what you want was trying to somehow take from you. They're, they're, they're not taking from you. We'll get to this character, but in gen generally speaking, they're not taking from you, they're just not giving to you because you're a very giving person. When someone is not giving to you, it's almost like they're taking from you in your, in your, in your and how you perceive it. Um, so when someone is not giving to you, you go into your shell. However, when someone is giving to you because they recognize the, what you need, right, then you open up. Thing is, sometimes someone is giving you what you want because they're awesome, and it's great to open up to them, but sometimes someone is giving you what you want as a strategy. I'm picking up that someone has, I think it's a past energy, I'll be honest, I'm not just saying that to make you feel okay, I'm, I, I, I'm generally picking up on a past energy, even if recent, but still, that has been telling you what you wanted to hear, been giving you what you expected to receive, and it was oh so simple, right? But little by little, you're realizing that nippets of your energy are phasing out. It's almost like you're being weakened with time. You can't understand why you're eating well, you're going to the gym, you're um, trying to have a, 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 a normal sleep schedule. You're doing all the things, right? You're, taking, you're tending to your psyche, you're doing the meditation, you're doing the things. And yet, there's a sense of the provision and you're like, but I don't, but I cleaned out the assholes. I'm not letting in people who wouldn't give me what I want. People who don't always give you what you want often are the ones who are most sincere with you, who wouldn't take from you. Um, as opposed to sometimes, again, this, this is tricky, okay? As opposed to people who are someone who could be a yes man. Right. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 of course. Whatever you need, whatever you think. Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it, it kind of numbs you to suspicion. Right? You gain your trust like that. And, and I feel like they were taking... I feel like there was an energy that was constantly telling you what you wanted to hear and you've opened up to it, um, to them. And I, I'm picking up, it's, it's not, it wasn't a, it wasn't a one time thing. No? It, it was someone in your vicinity for a long time. This was someone that you trusted, a coworker, a family member, a lover, a friend, uh, really, it could be anyone but that has been close to you. That whenever they were very, very in tune and, and listening to you, they were actually, it wasn't from a genuine place of being in tune and, and wanting to hear you out and, 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 and contain you, right? It's, it was strategic somehow, they were taking. So I think if it's coming through in this reading, you already have an inclination or a suspicion or you've already dealt with it. But if it is still coming in the reading, there are the leftovers. I don't know if it's the sense of betrayal or who can I trust then. Um, don't make it about who gives you what you want or who doesn't give you. Don't make it about who agrees with you or doesn't agree with you. Make, make it about 
are they honest? Are they sometimes super receptive and agreeable, but sometimes they're like, yeah, no, that's, that's, the thing. I disagree. Is their energy feeling like, you know, shut down their words, even their actions, if you're suspicious, and just feel the energy when you're in the same room with that person? Do you feel vitality? Not your ego. If they're caressing your ego and telling you everything you want to hear, I'm not talking about your ego being happy. I'm talking about your, your life force and your spirit and your heart. Are you really feeling elevated and lighthearted? Or is there a sense of a heaviness, that something that pulls your energy down, tells you what you want to hear so your brain stretches upward to listen to them, but simultaneously something with the energy is like, best thing I can think of. that's just how I can that's that's just how it feels like a sinking like a rock being tied to your leg and slowly pulling you down the ocean oh my god that's a terrible analogy I'm so sorry but that's kind of the sensation the sensation that I'm getting from this king of cups I am picking up on some bad vibes and I'm now noticing the ship in the background here something with shipment or maybe they are traveling somewhere or have traveled maybe they've done something um, that has to do with you for you that has to do with international affairs um, maybe they've Maybe they've conveyed a message. This could have been someone who's, who was in, that you've trusted to convey some sort of message and they either didn't and, tell, and told you that they did, so you thought that the message was conveyed, um, or, or they conveyed a different message than what you asked them to convey. And it may have caused some mess up. And you're like, oh, Mercury retrograde. It's exposure. It exposes it to because it, it makes it makes deception, for example, to really, really feel confident and do it even more, and then it gets exposed, right? Now, June, this reading is for June, although I'm recording this earlier, um, Mercury is moving direct on the 3rd, however, it's still in shadow until I believe the 18th. So, treat it as such. Oh, sorry, what's happening there? there we go. Okay, show me more, please. Interesting. Give me beautiful Cancerians. Happy birthday to your to the early birthday celebrators, those of you who were born at the end of June. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and Five of Swords. I'm actually strongly picking up on someone that you've been working with that has just, they, they were pretending to be like your partner or, or worker or coworker, but in the meantime, they were planning on, on building their own thing and just learning from you, taking all the secrets of the trade and then, and then basically copying it and taking all the strategies um, and, and trying to do it themselves. And they, I feel like they have gone in a separate direction on their own, but they're trying to do the things that they've learned from you, but it's not working. It, they don't, they, they don't have that oomph, that magic, that extra flair. They're, they're just so they're gonna fall flat 
19. Oh, you like hearing that? Okay, cool. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. They could have told you, hey, I have plans to expand to do my own thing, and I would love the opportunity to work with you and learn from you. They could have been sincere and upfront, and then you'd probably be happy to mentor them. You don't even mind that as much as you mind the deception. I'm the same way. We all are in the same way in a way. Which is, that's why I don't understand why, in general speaking, people don't see the, the value in being upfront about things. Because then you can get what you want without being mad at. Because it's never the thing itself as much as the hiding of it, right? But, but it's not a big deal. The fact that you lied about it is a big deal. The fact that you've been sneaking is a big deal. The fact that you've been manipulative about it is a big deal. That's the big deal. And they're like, oh, but I just wanted to learn. But you're, but you're miss. No, don't gaslight me. I get that you just wanted to learn, but it, you could have said that. You could have been like, I'm learning from you because I want to do something similar because I'm inspired. People don't do that because they don't want to have to give credit afterwards. That's literally why people won't do that. They'll be like, I don't want to give credit, so I'm just going to pretend that I'm not learning from this person and everything that I'm doing was for me, from my own brain. And it's like, first of all, nothing is ever from your own brain. Everything we've learned, we've learned. Every, all, all my, everything I'm saying, I read books, I've listened to lectures, I've, I've had mentors, teachers, I've seen movies, I've, I've experienced life myself. So yes, it was my brain and my experience and my conclusions. However, they all resulted in the experience that life gave me and the interaction, the dynamics with other people and what they, how they made me feel, the things they made me think about, right? It's all cause and effect, action, reaction. It's like, we're never just our own brain. So not a go to steal from someone and then there's quote me on that one, oh, it's okay, now I can steal from people. No, artistic rights are important, but you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Like there's no point in obsessing over credit when it's not really yours because it's not a big deal. And, you, and, and that's what you're trying to tell them. And you know, this could be a partner, this could have been someone, I mean like a romantic partner, this could have been someone that you were with, that you taught, that you gave so much to, it could have been a friend, and now it just feels like they've been draining your life force, and now the worst part about it is if, like, they let's say they went on and, and, and took your, your knowledge and did their own thing, and somehow they're also, they also know how to work with energy, whether consciously or subconsciously, and so they, they've t when you've told them about something excitedly, they kind of took that energy and used that energy to manifest it for themselves. But then that energy was taken from you. So they ended up manifesting your dream or your idea or your thing. And you were left without the energy and the life force that you've had in the first place. And then so yours is not coming together. And for you, it's not working out. And you're seeing, it's like, I told them I wanted to do X, Y, Z, and then they went and did X, Y, Z, and now when I'm doing X, Y, Z, which is what I was going to do, I, I told them I was going to do it, now it doesn't work so well, now it's not succeeding as much, it's like, you freaking thief, I feel like there's an energetic theft here, this is like so freaking annoying, I'm so sorry, let's see, let's see. Sorry, the shades are... Stop moving. Okay. Sorry. I'm back. Everything's okay. Everything's okay, Cancer. Don't cry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Come on. I had to tease you. Don't cry. You're like, I wasn't crying. I thought you were leaving me. I was just fixing the shades. I'm teasing you. Just humor. We can't laugh at ourselves. Who will we laugh at? At others will gain it all. <laughs> good one, though. Good one. Good response. Good response. Okay, show me more of her cancer for June, please. Take back your energy. 
Smeagol. Nah. Oh, there it is. You're like, oh my god, chips are falling. You're like starting to, to judgment. You're starting to connect the dots. You're starting to realize, Four of Cups, that your suspicion was correct. You weren't insecure. You weren't imagining. You weren't paranoid. You just, you're like, shit, fuck. I can't believe it's true. Yeah, believe it. People do this, these things. It sucks, I know. Um, okay. So you're waking up to it. You're waking up to the realization. You're also waking up to the things that you should not be trusting them with or, or whatever. It calls for a major decision, the lovers. You gotta... You gotta... Some of you... Are going to have to face needing to say goodbye to someone that has been an, an integral part of your life um, and they've been very very intertwined in your life and it's a hard thing to do and it, it comes with sacrifice it comes with a loss you know, you'll, I, I think you'll miss this person. I think this person was really in your veins. Um, it's hard. But it's like, you got to decide. Do I care about my life force, my energy, my manifestation, my future? Or do I care about someone who pretended to care about me while stealing energy from me? You've been dealing with someone that has been stealing energy from you, but you gotta, you gotta look at yourself and at your ego because you've been shunning people out who just weren't yes men or yes women, um, and kind of allowing because and, and I'm not and I'm not judging you for it. You know, you needed it. You needed someone to just support and confirm and, and, and nod and, and, and understand and, and hear you out. This is not, there's nothing wrong with you needing that. No, it's perfectly fine. But because of that, because of the very natural legitimate need, you were prone to fall for it, right? So maybe understand that if someone says no to it, it doesn't mean that they don't love you or don't care about you. Just means that they have their own needs, just like you. Ah, look at that. The hangman and ace of cups. Okay. So this is a very liberating, inspiring learning process in which you get to see the world and your own spirit from a different perspective and really be enlightened about relationships, about the world, about life, about your choices. Um, you're going to make the best out of this. You're going to retrieve your energy. I think some of you are going to act as if you don't know, um, as if you know, everything is fine. I don't think you're going to say anything. And I think I see you kind of just choosing a new path, a new direction where you are more discerning as to who you're opening up to and kind of looking at someone else from a different set of eyes. Because now that you see the yes man or woman as someone that has been taken from you, it also in turn makes you gaze at someone else and suddenly see them in a different line and be like, oh, you were actually good for me. You were actually good to me. I just didn't see it that way. So you're going to also recognize someone else in your life that is benevolent for you and possibly reach out or possibly renew the connection and express yourself to them. That's cool. Mm. Like you're learning to look at at the offer itself and not at the person making the offer, right? 
you're, you're learning how to look beyond the status or the presentation or the appearance of the person and actually look at the essence of what it is that they're offering or giving. And that will help you, you know, not say yes to bad stuff and, and not say no to good stuff. That which is shiny ain't gold. And you're like, well, no, I don't look at money or at outfits. No, but you look at, there are some other things. There are other characteristics or aspects that you look at to judge whether something is legitimate or not, or good for you or not. And that it might not be gold like shiny, but it's a different type of shiny. Maybe, maybe you look at academic education, right? Or maybe you look at the way a person talks, or maybe you look, whatever other, exterior characteristic that you tend to focus on that has been failing you, right? I see, and I know it's weird, but, oh, you want to look at the cards now? I also see you developing feelings for someone you would never think you'd be into. Or it could be a type, a personality, someone in your life, that suddenly you're like looking at them from a completely different perspective and there's this outpour of emotion and you're like, oh my God, I think I have feelings for this person. Like something like that. Anything else to see for Cancer Shifters? Seekers. <laughs> I call my patrons Shifters. That's interesting. Knight of Swords. Guys, be, you know, if, if, if something has been cooking in your psyche and in your soul journey for a long time and it suddenly finally comes up to the surface and you're recognizing it within yourself, be it an emotion, a mindset, a set of belief, a direction that you want to take, and so on and so forth. Be cautious with like going from zero to 100. Like maybe don't race your horse into the lake because there's this bright light, light in the middle of the lake. The light is real, everything is real here. But you know, there are still rocks at the bottom of the lake. There are still all kinds of, I don't know, plantation that might get the horse entangled, their legs entangled in it. Trot, walk, and, and yes, with the sort of communication of saying what you want to say. Because when you bring swift wind to water, that are calm, you create a storm, okay? Knight of Wands, yeah, better. Show your excitement, show your positivity, trot, but don't like, like, does that make sense? I don't know how it applies, but this could also be two people that are joining your 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 life. I don't know if it's friends, coworkers, uh, potential love partners. Um, could be family members that are suddenly visiting. I see two people. One is 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 fun for you. The other is like too much. So I can't handle this. It's too much. <laughs> But this one has something to inspire you with and teach you with. And this one, it's, it's an opportunity to practice the muscle of, um, of how to, to calm down really extra energies and, and, and practice your patience, right? Okay, 
I am going to continue this reading right now. The links to your extended will be below in the description box. I hope to see you there. If not, I love you anyway. Um, and yeah, that's it. Bye.